Eastern Ghats of Andhra Pradesh is a little known valley where our unique coffee comes from. It is so aptly named Arup. Straddling the Andhra Pradesh and Odisha border, Araku is part of the Eastern Ghats of India and is approximately a thousand meters above sea level. The nearest airport to Araku is about 60 miles away in Vishakhapatnam. Winding roads lead up to what is now slowly becoming a hotspot for tourism. As I drive into the valley, I'm welcomed by a sight to behold. I was told that the valley was once denuded and desolate. But these lush views that greet me, they tell a different tale. Actually, the economic and social turnaround it's created for the communities living here. This story is going to be about witnessing change. A story of change from the very grassroots, with its impacts reaching the other side of the world. of Araku coffee and see how this socially conscious coffee is grown. I'm inspired to know that this coffee is grown by the tribal farmers and I'm keen to discover the secrets behind its making. I know that landscapes, rainfall, microclimates and even the plants in the surrounding areas impact the overall taste of a coffee. This region is made only for Arabica. Okay. This region is not um, good for um, Robusta. Oh. Is there are many people grow Robusta in other um, part of in India, but this part is only made for Arabica. There also is called Arabica 795 yeah. or Selection 9. Yeah. Compared to all other places, here we um, trained our people only harvest selective cherry to take it to the final um, selected cherries into the, our processing. Oh, of course. One of the key differences that make Araku coffee so unique comes from the harvesting of the cherry. Because each tribal family owns and looks after just one acre, they carefully handpick only the ripest cherries, whilst more commercial operations might have to pick a mix as they cannot afford to harvest multiple times. It's just such differences of micromanagement that allow Araku coffee to truly stand out. The traditional yet sustainable farms being here in the village, for me, is a peek into an age-old culture. It's amazing to see that this traditional wisdom is still alive today. They have their forests back, their water, their land, and most of all, their culture is beginning to thrive again. And thrive they do. The shy smiles and bold jewellery reflect a proud community that is warm and welcoming of those unknown to them.